Just want to eat some hot balls and test my mental capabilities. Everybody, what's going on? The big guy right back here. <laughs> Who else? And uh, today we have Ryback has heat. Ryback always has heat. Oh, the marks on oh, Ryback is has heat for this and heat for that. It's all made up lies, guys. From within. Today, today I am going to be doing. The Carolina Reaper Cheese Balls, 2,200,000 Scoville heat units. These are, these are, it says on the bag, these are the hottest balls you will ever put in your mouth. Well, that's not what Johnny said. Damn it. I'm kidding, guys. These are the hottest balls I will ever put in my mouth. It's on the bag. Wait a second. Do I look... I got this ring light here. This is really, oh, I don't like, I look stupid. Why does this make me look so deformed? I look, I don't remember looking like this. It makes my head, the damn light, it makes my head look like a V. I hate it. There's only certain times this happens. Let me hold on, guys. We got to fix this. See, look, I look good in the dark. What the fuck? Jesus, it came back on. Hold on. It's not too bad. I kind of like that. The lighting was really bright. I, the lights in this house, guys, this is a real... I'm trying to make these videos as, as, as eyeball-friendly as possible. I know I'm in them. That's not helping, but... Don't talk bad about yourself, Ryback. You're a beautiful man. Oh, thank you. Okay, I like... Whoa, party mode. Hold on. Wait, was that the one I had it on? Look at my damn shelf on my head. I just want to eat some hot balls and test my mental capabilities in front of my friends and the followers. And then the people that also hate my guts and watch me still. Okay, this is a little... Someone's complaining. Someone wants it brighter because they want to see my red face when I'm burning in hell. Hold on. Okay, can that let... Oh, can we all agree on this here? We're too... All right, let me, all right, okay. hey. guys, what I'm going to do here, I got a bowl, I got a bag of hot balls, I got my Feed Me More Nutrition water, for the people asking, the half gallon jugs, I'm talking to people from China right now, the damn half gallon jugs, they haven't shipped them out yet, when you're dealing with overseas stuff, oh, stupid, uh, I got to pay another fee. This is not the first time this has happened. But um, they got that in my new shakers over there coming. I've been able to get the, my shaker bottles. Very similar to what I have. High quality shaker bottles. But at a much better price than what I was paying here in the States. Guys, my life is just... It's from morning to night. I would hate saying it. Look what I got. I got financial statement right here. I'm not going to... I got Dean Graziosi's book he sent me. I'm reading a book on financial statements. I'm almost done with this book on Beyond Stretching. I got another book here on Beyond Crunches by Pavel Tatsalin, this Russian just genius that has helped me build an indestructible core. But I'm not meant to be reading shit like this, guys. I've said it time and time again. I'm a modern-day Neanderthal just trying to live my best life. I'm like the guy... The guy in the green mile, but not to that level. Like, but I'm like, I was born with this beastly genetics and just right back. Don't want to smash the hot balls. Right back, smash. And then I don't like mean people, and but I'm like, I'm like the green mile guy. Like, you kill a little mouse in front of me, I'm gonna fuck you up. Like, I don't, it's not because I'm a bad person. It's like all from good. I just want good all the time. So when I see bad, I get very angry because I've had this born with this Hulk fucking powers and anger and I'm trying guys I'm trying and I know I got a big forehead and I know I look like a fucking egghead okay I fucking know I wake up and look at myself every day assholes today though hot balls guys and these I've heard that people cannot finish these and uh 
yet for the comments. I'll give you guys the time for the assholes. He doesn't start the video until 534. You're welcome. Oh, fuck me. Oh, that. Oh, those smell like the peanuts. They don't smell no cheesy balls. This, this is going to be, I was talking to the UK Chili Queen and uh, shout out to the UK Chili Queen. Um, that was horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shout out to Johnny Scoville. You're not getting the Johnny. I'm sorry. Um, you guys are two people in the heat game I look up to. I'm aspiring to, I don't know if I want to be like a UK Chili Queen. Just ate a hundred and something Reapers. Check out her channel. She ate a hundred, I believe, in five Reaper peppers in like 15 minutes. Crazy. But, and, uh, but she couldn't do the peanuts, the tuba tear, which blows my mind. But all this stuff affects people differently. You never know what you're going to get in this heat. These I was reading has messed up a lot of people. And I, you're, I don't know what, this is a huge bat. Like this is, we're going to dump them in the bowl. Oh, the powder. I think I got it in my eyes. Or am I being a little bitch? I think I'm just, I'm just kidding. I was being a little bitch, guys. Sorry. I thought I got powder in my eyes for a minute. The smell, though, I do smell it. This is the Carolina Reaper cheese balls. This is the Guinness Book of World Records. Hottest pepper in the world. Use gloves while handling. <laughs> well, I don't have gloves because I'm not like a weirdo that has like doctor's gloves lying around, guys. Like, why? That would be so weird. Maybe I'll have to order a box on Amazon, though, for these. But that's going to be weird explaining that one to people when they come over. Why do you got a box of medical gloves over here, Ryback? I like to eat hot balls. All right. Anyways, guys, I have a miso soup spoon because I'm not putting my hands on these hot balls. It's not worth it, guys. Oh, it's not worth it. Man, I, I don't know. We're at 6.57. Oh, there's some people. Eat the fucking balls! I'm going to dive in, my friends. I don't know. This is, I get a little bit. I had my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, my banana and my, my almond milk, UK Chili Queen. She's my, she's given me some great tips on all of this. These, the smell of these damn Reaper peppers. Those peanuts haunt me still. Uh, went from putting peanuts in my mouth to balls. This is what my life has become. So guys, there's no rules on this. What I'm going to do is just put as many balls in my mouth as I can as I'm eating this. I know some of you are mad I didn't do that. That's what she said. I didn't feel it on that one. Sometimes I don't feel it and I don't want to force it. It just has to come naturally, guys. Oh, the smell of these. I don't, this is a lot of balls. Look at this big bowl. This is a big bowl, guys. You imagine putting milk in this and eating this as cereal as a prank? Oh, the smell. These are, whoever made these, fucking rotten hell. I test myself mentally. Oh, I got to get in the zone. I know I'm talking a lot on this one, guys. This is a lot of, no, no kidding, all jokes aside, I built up my tolerance pretty well to this stuff. I'm not worried about the heat in my mouth. I get worried about getting cramps later. And luckily I didn't, I haven't gotten cramps here the last three times. I got them mildly when Johnny Scoville came down and uh, they went away really, really quickly, like 15 minutes, totally fine. The last Reaper pepper, the hot pepper challenge I did where I did those four hot, hottest peppers, totally fine. Now my ass did burn the next day, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and uh, I do see the comments with some of you saying, I must not love my asshole. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm thankful for it, but I don't know how many of us actually truly love our assholes or buttholes, whatever. It's too late I said it, so. But shout out Psycho Sid Fist Bump to those of you that love your butthole. All right. Do I have to hold the bowl up because some of you want to see the hot balls as we're going? I'll hold the bowl up, guys. If it gets too hot, though, I might have to put them down. Have some water. Mmm. 
They taste kind of like a breakfast cereal, but just way hotter. These aren't the best balls I've ever had, though. Cheesy balls. balls were building up in my mouth. I know I missed another. That's what she said. That was a... Oh, oh shit. They're kicking out. The water made it worse. Fuck. Right now, doggies, daddy's eating balls. <sighs> A little bit of sweat. Oh, shit. They don't taste that good, though. Not bad, but. Oh, that taste. All right, guys. Final two balls. Not as big as I thought they'd be. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, buddy. oh, that was dumb. Fuck. I wiped my mouth and I almost just wiped my eye. The sweat. Ooh, <sighs> they're kicking in. I just don't, the taste, I've told you guys. <sighs> oh, look at that sweat, look at that forehead popping. Look at the point. Oh, the burn is definitely a little bit of a delayed burn with these bad boys. Ooh. These were the uh, the hot balls. We're gonna give it a little bit, guys. We'll see how it uh if it subsides or if there's a uh, elevated stages of this. I got cheese balls all in my teeth. Hurts to breathe a little bit. Definitely, these were intense. These were hotter than uh, 
the peppers. As far as the, in my mouth, the burn didn't kick in right away on the mouth. It kicked in after. I think it's too, it's because I can't get the cheese out of my teeth at certain points. I know too, some of you have mentioned orbs flying around in some of my videos. I don't know what the hell, that's, uh, I think it's happened multiple times in certain videos, and like four, five, six, seven times. And I don't know what, I never uh, noticed that in any of the other videos in here before. I have a clean place. So I don't like, there's never like, I never see like have dust or anything in here, but it's possible. So I don't know. I'm not an orb expert or anything of that nature. Don't know much about them. I just know I have unlimited energy. So the orbs might like my unlimited energy. Hot balls of Moses. Those were intense. Those hot balls were no joke, guys. <clears throat> Ooh. I don't know how the old stomach, hopefully. Wow. It's worse because that it's in my teeth. And as it comes out, it's like the heat just uh, keeps adding up to it. Man. Gotta do Feed Me More Fitness video out with uh, Carlin Crouch. I hate the way my body looks in some of these damn things. I still got it though. Ah, uh, two ninety five right now. We're working on my right shoulder. I just bought an ultrasound machine. I'm gonna have somebody. I got some knots in the back of my scapula that are the last things that I need to get addressed. If we can get rid of whatever that scar tissue and knots are, my scapula will move freely which will allow all my other shoulder stuff to really lighten up. We're close. This has been three years of figuring this shit out, guys. Constantly rehab every day, doing multiple rehab programs, 14 stem cell procedures. My back is all better. My back is completely all better. <clears throat> I have zero back pain. My back is just getting stronger and stronger. I'm gonna be training more with Nick Best. I'm training with Stan Efforting this weekend. For the next Feed Me More Fitness video, he's going to put me through a big leg workout. So, uh, I'm just, and that's what I'm doing is just pushing myself and challenging, my, challenging myself on these guys. These are my mental challenges. I'm, uh, I want people to see, I want people to know me and see me. I was very unsatisfied with the WWE character at times. Because I always felt that when I was my, more myself and my energy was always me, but verbally, different things, you always do what you, you know, was asked of you. But I always wanted people to understand me better because there's, I'm not your, like I said, it's, it's easy to look at me and just think it, it, the, the angry one dimensional monster. And I love playing that role. I just also want to be me which I believe is much more versatile and marketable, even though that was extremely marketable and that always will be. I think it's more marketable when you're just yourself and can relate to people and show the, the mental aspect of what has made you successful in different things and overcoming things. Like just a regular guy that learned to be positive and work really hard. And that's anybody can do that. And we all have different dreams and passions and goals, but if we take a positive mental attitude with hard work, that 10x work ethic, I'm telling you, and you take the negatives and the failures and you let it, you let it build mental toughness in you, you can do great things. It all just depends on what you want. And if you don't want to do that, I, I'm okay with that. I think it's just being happy. Be good human beings, be happy, love, strive for that stuff. And if you want to, you know, push yourself and try for things for me, I always have this, I have this uh, thing in me to constantly learn and to want to better myself and to try to better those around me. 
and it takes it takes sometimes secluding yourself and pushing yourself. And this last three and three and a half years have been a big, huge period of growth for me that I'm going to be able to take and really, really, really amplify here this next stage as we're coming up to uh, and help me and help those around me uh, in achieving the, the things that I would like to achieve. And I'm going to keep doing this the whole time because this is the greatest tool to getting people to know who you really are. And uh, it's free. And I, I just truly, like, I enjoy doing this a lot. So, and to me, it was always, there was a lot of false things put out there. Uh, a lot of it was unfortunately paid for by WWE when I left with people like Bleacher Report, uh, publications, Bleacher Report and Sportster. So it's just unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. But I always said, just stick to my guns, keep doing what I'm doing. The truth always wins out in the end. And for me, the missing piece was just getting the YouTube, which I had to get healthy for first. And I am, and here I am. And uh, you love me, you love me, you hate me, you hate me. It's okay, it's either, but it's just me. And I always tell people, be loved for being you and be hated for being you. Don't be fake. And don't try to be a shapeshifter and don't try to, uh, to appease all people. Like it's not, like I say what I believe in and what from I believe in from my teachings and learnings and things I've read in my experience. And if you can't relate to that and you don't agree with it, more power to you, just move on. Over 7 billion people on this planet. They're all attract the right ones. I have no doubt about it. Always have, always will. If I'm not for you, adios. No hard feelings, whatnot. But, and for those of you that are, we have for every, you know, 99, for every bad one, there's 99 great ones. So if not more than that. So I thank you guys. Um, but uh, that was the Carolina Reaper Hot Ball Challenge. I finished it. We are done. And uh, this video is going to be out after Thanksgiving. So hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And uh, get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel. And for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10. Click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.